Um, my point being is that you can see if you get a dog from a breeder, you really can see how they can cultivate certain types of behavior. Like a, yes. a good example of my Mastiff who passed away this year. He came from this guy who bred dogs for films and for uh, police training. And uh, he was the most calm, most chilled out dog I've ever had in my life. He was a giant dog. Yes. He's 140 pounds, but he you could have him take him anywhere and trust him with a baby. And he was like, "Hello!" <laughs> like everything was like totally. He but this guy purposely anytime a dog showed any aggression towards people or any aggression towards dogs, he wouldn't let them breed. So how can anyone not know, hear the stories like that or know stories like that and not then also think that genes play a role in human behavior? Oh, they. You have children. Yes. You realize it yes. when you have children. You yes. see it like okay, this is not. I didn't do this. Yeah. This is this comes from me. Yes. There's certain traits that my children have that right. I, I watch and I go, okay, this is not. This I is, didn't teach them yeah. this. They just are they this just, way. They were born this they've way. They've got my fucked up brain. You know, there's something <laughs> in there. Like they're not seeing the, the like they don't see how crazy I am in terms of like how hard I work at things. Mm -hmm. They how obsessive I get with things. They're just doing it. Mm -hmm. It's very weird. Mm -hmm. It's very weird because you see, you go, oh, well, okay, well, how much of this shit that's in me is, mm. well, how much of me is me deciding to be this person and how much of me has no choice? About half and half, I would say, mm. overall, on average, across traits. How much do you think gets passed down through genetics in terms of inclinations, like like the nature? Dispositions. Yes. About half. Half. On average. So, for example... About half the very, you know, how religious you are or how risk averse you are. Like, I can, I can, about half the variation in how, if you look at a group of people and some are more risk averse than others, about, about half of that has to do with their genes and half has to do with how they were raised or what environments they grew up in. So, you know, there's a kind of innateness to many of our qualities and you can shape them. You know, for example, you can't, you couldn't make me a musician, unfortunately. I have almost no musical talent. I can dance, I think. I mean, I think others would even say that I can do that. Uh, but um, so it's not just like, I think I can dance, but I can't. Uh, but I, I have no musical ability whatsoever. I, I would say I'm tone deaf and, and you know, I can appreciate music. I like, I, mm. uh, but I can't produce it. There's no way you could train me, I don't think, to be a musician. Um, but um, so some of it is inborn, and some of it is is uh, is taught for all of these qualities. Yes, it's a fascinating thing to watch it emerge from a child, isn't it? Yes, as a parent, you see where it comes from. Although we have adopted, like I, um, my mother had three biological children, and I have two adopted siblings. I come from actually a multiracial family. I have a black sister and a Chinese brother. And my mother was an incredible human being. She died when I was uh, 25. She was 47. Uh, and uh, we have been foster parents, my wife and I. And, and so, and my, we have lots of adopted kids in the extended family in addition to biological kids. And so you can see, you can see the play of genes. You can see the extent to which the, the, the kind of in, the, in, the inherited traits that these people, that we all have, and you see the shaping by how you're raised. And, mm. you know, so both are important. And this yeah. is incidentally why, if you ever have anyone, it's not, it's not nature or nurture, it's both. Yeah. Always, almost right. in every single trait, actually.